Today we're going to be looking at the advantages of using audio track layers over track channels in Fairlight Page. Why you might ask? They help structure the whole timeline. You can stack multiple sound effects or music in several layers of the same track. Crossface works smoother over here. Without further ado, let's jump into the details. If not yet in the Fairlight page, press it at the bottom. Set audio track layers by pressing the drop down view. Show audio track layers. Remember, the uppermost audio is audible from Resolve page. Move your audios up to listen to the best take. You can use Shift to restrict motion to one plane. Now let's use Range tool by pressing R to chop our audio or specific section of our audio. You can also use Blade tool to cut your audio. Let's set up our jump navigation controls for markers, fades and cuts or clips. Jump to clip, it jumps to the clip or the cut or the first frames of your clip. Jump to fade, it jumps to the fade that you made on your audio. And jump to the marker, jumps to the marker in your timeline. Let's jump to working with the nested timeline. For you to edit your nested timeline, it's just like any other timeline. You just double click it and go into that timeline and edit your audios or your clips from that timeline. And once done, drag it and drop it into the new timeline. And for the first time, you won't see any audio waveform. So I will suggest you open up your nested timeline and jump back to the main timeline. Now you can see the audio. From our main timeline, we can see the time code that we have to set up here in our nested timeline. You can open up your time code window by going into workspace, time code window, and there it pops up. Right click our nested timeline, starting time code. Then we can change up our starting time code from this nested timeline. Input the data you got from your main timeline. Let's decompose this nested timeline by right click and choose decompose in place. Decompose in place preserving audio data. Because our nested timeline it only consists of audio and there's no clips in there. Three routing options, new matching buses, preserve existing paths and leave unassigned. These choices affect how the tracks and buses in the nested timeline are routed to the buses in the master timeline. New matching buses option creates a new buses for each bus that was in the nested timeline. This is irregardless of whether you have this bus in your main timeline. Preserve existing path will route tracks to the existing buses in the master timeline that have the same name and channel format and only make new buses if they don't match buses in the master timeline. The last option, leave unassigned, is self-explanatory. We're going to choose preserve existing path because we have the same name in our nested timeline as the same name in our main or master timeline. We can loop the playback around the selected in and out points by pressing alt and forward slash. Hey yo man, I got something for you man. Oh yeah? Spill it out. I need somebody to spy for me at Hot Ink Studios. How much we talking? Five grand man, take it or leave it man. Now we can play around with crossfades using the mouse or you can go into trim, fade to, whatever specific that you are looking for. Hey yo man, I got something for you man. Oh yeah? Spill it out. I need somebody to spy for me at Hot Ink Studios. How much we talking? Five grand man, take it or leave it man. Um, I bet. <laughs> Feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still if you made it this far, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Check out this video on multi-channel clips. See you in the next video.